Asalaamu Alaikum. Thank you very much for coming out here. I have a question regarding um, globalization in terms of the Islamic world, Islamic world specifically. You just previously pointed out that a, uh, the, the plausibility of something as a universally accepted and holistically applied document of Sharia in all the Muslim countries is a rather implausible thing at the moment. But do you think in the future with the advent of a, a, a Muslim organization similar to the UN, or the European Union, or a, an alliance of Muslim states, do you think such an endeavor would be possible then? And uh, my second question would be, and at this particular moment, would you wa like to elucidate on particularly why so, um, a, a universal application of Sharia is not very possible? Thank you. Uh, well, for one, uh, I'm gonna kind of bundle both these questions up together because I think they're interrelated. I, I think it's fair to say that most Muslims are uncomfortable with the Sharia, and here by Sharia is meant not that divine, unimpeachable, cosmic reality, but the synonym for Islamic law. And, 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 and the realities of life today. Muslims themselves, whilst not disavowing the significance of Sharia as part of their, their system of beliefs, uh, find difficulty in embracing the historical renditions of that. Remember, we, the, the first points we made are, are, are pertinent to this, that that which is in the mind of God becomes a, an existential reality through, the, through human intervention. And that human intervention then uh, reduces the significance, the theological significance of the Sharia as well. If something is, is humanly tainted, then certainly it can be modified. And so there's this process of re-examining the, 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 the uh, parameters of the Sharia, and, it's, and it's, it's an ongoing process. From the most devout to the most secular Muslims are involved in, 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 in and not very few are asking that the Sharia be jettisoned in toto, that it be abandoned entirely. Many have come to realize, if not most, that Sharia is as much a part of, of Muslim culture and Muslim civilization and Muslim history as Christianity is of, 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 of Western Europe and the United States. And so therefore, when we look at the discussions that go on, in this particular country with regard to the role of Christianity, Christian values, it is a discussion that is ongoing. It is highly contentious. So that kind of a discussion now is now making its way into, into the Muslim world. People are asking, uh, what are, not, are, are less asking, does the Sharia have a role to play in our society? The question they're asking, to what extent is the Sharia? Uh, a part of our society, and who's, more importantly, whose interpretation of the Sharia will determine how my life will be conditioned on a daily basis. These are the major issues that people ask themselves. And in a world that is becoming truly global, tr truly plural, it's hard to imagine a, a religiously based legal system being operative exclusively within a particular country Muslim or non-Muslim. So, so, so uh, the configurations of the Sharia in the next, for the, ne for the future are, are very, very interesting. They, they are, and and, and uh, what, I find, what I find heartening is the fact that, if, that those who are, who are energetically involved in these debates are actually devout, committed Muslims, not those who simply look at uh, the Sharia as something archaic, or at best something that ought to be reduced uh, to uh, some, to the exotica. Uh, 